Hi, I'm Rob from B&H. We're at NAB 2015. I'm in the Sennheiser booth talking with David Missall about the new AVX digital wireless system designed for film and video work. David, tell us a little bit about the AVX. Thanks, Rob. The AVX is really a, a new innovation in, in form factor and also in wireless technology. With all the videographers out there shooting with small digital SLRs, we wanted to have something that's a little bit better and easier to use. So many people now have a camera and are gathering news. Even the large broadcasters, they have everybody walking around carrying a camera. So we want to have something that's easy to use and easy to set up. So the AVX system is the solution for that. So let's take a look at the receiver itself. If you look at this receiver, it's right on the top of the digital SLR. Look how small it is, just very, very tiny. It's on a little shoe mount adapter, and it's receiving one channel going into the camera. And I can move it around like this. To accommodate other accessories on the camera. Exactly, yeah. if you need other accessories on there, I can get it out of the way. If you have more of a professional video camera, then you can mount two of these on a video camera with two XLR connectors and move them around as needed. Very small form factor. The beauty of it is it's in the 1.9 gigahertz frequency range. This is an unlicensed frequency range. There's not a lot of activity up there. So we're getting out of the UHF range up into the 1.9 gigahertz. We also have encryption up there as well? We do. Okay. It comes standard with encryption. You know, a lot of people are worried about people listening in to the conversations or maybe that, that news story that you're getting sure. or you're doing a film or reality-based show. Now it comes encrypted standard with the system so you don't have to worry about anybody listening to the conversation or with the dialogue that you're recording. Tell me about the uh, powering of it. This is really unique because because we're in 1.9 gigahertz, now we have two-way communication between the transmitter, and here's the transmitter, mm -hmm. between the bell pack transmitter and the receiver. They communicate with each other, and the, the receiver finds out if there's a high error rate or if there's interference. If it sees that it is getting interference, it tells the transmitter to increase the transmit power of the bell pack transmitter to overcome the interference. Got it. And it can peak at a 250 milliwatt and give you a lot of range and overcome any of that interference. Then, if it still sees interference, it quickly will change frequencies automatically to a new frequency to make sure that you have reliable frequencies all the time and reliable transmission all the time. And that's part of how easy it is to use. It'll find the frequencies automatically. Exactly. As soon as you power it up, it looks for a free frequency and it sets the frequency for you. At the very least, you'd have to pair it. They can pair together with the communication, the wireless communication that happens between them. Once you're paired, you're ready to go. Excellent. Now there is a battery in here, but it also looks at phantom power from your recording device or your camera as well, right? Yeah, exactly. All the the bell pack transmitter, the handheld transmitter as well, and the receiver all using a lithium ion rechargeable battery. Excellent. The, uh, the receiver will get about four hours to five hours of battery life. The uh, transmitters will get 11 hours of battery life. You mentioned a 48 volt phantom. Right. If you have more of a pro camera that has two, three pin XLR microphone inputs and it has 48 volt phantom, mm -hmm. that 48 volt phantom will control the on and off power of the receiver. Excellent. Saving yeah. you a lot of battery it life. It really does. So yeah. then you know I, I power down, I don't have to worry about turning off the receiver, it just automatically got turned off. You power the camera back up with the 48 volt phantom and it powers that receiver back up. And if I'm using it with a DSLR that doesn't have 48 volts phantom power, it just runs on the battery. It just runs on the battery and it has a USB port on the back of it so that if you have to and you need more battery life, you can use one of those chargers that you use for your cell phone sure. as an extra boost, plug it into the USB port on the back of it, and you can run for hours and hours with the receiver. Fantastic, amazing, excellent product. There's another product also that I want to touch on before we wrap it up, sure. and that's a new partnership you guys have going with Apogee for some new lavalier mics. Oh yes, yes. Uh, we introduced this here at NAB as well. Apogee, a great partner of ours, a well-known company. Uh, they do wonderful converters, A to D converters. So, and actually, I'm using that system right now. You're listening to my voice with this lavalier, but I also have another lavalier right here. I'm gonna take this off. It's going into my iPhone. Here's the reveal. Using this system. So it's an ME2 going into an Apogee a to D converter. And What's our maximum sampling rate? I'm it's sorry to interrupt. 24 bit, 96 kilohertz sample rate. And it's going into the lightning connector here 
as opposed to the mic input connection. Even better fidelity from that lightning connection. Fidelity is amazing, incredible. So I basically recorded our whole conversation here in 9624 resolution, and I'm using the Apogee application for recording as well. The meta recorder, I believe, yes, is the meta app, recorder. Yeah. So it's just a fantastic partnership. We have the, the clip mic, which is the ME2, mm -hmm. and then we have the MKE2 digital, where we're using our more high-end uh, lavalier that's very well known in the industry. Absolutely, industry standard there. David, I really appreciate you taking some time to show us the new Sennheiser products. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rob, my pleasure. All right, from NAB 2015, I'm Rob from B&H. Thanks for watching.